What's up, producers? My name is Moonboy, and today, let's, let's make, make some water. Here we go. Here we go. So to start off, we need the BPM to be around 140 to 150. I'm going 150 because I like speed. So first off, we need drums. Rhythm drums consist of kicks on every beat with a clap on the offbeat. I like to layer my claps often with snares. Add some hi-hats in the crash and here we go. Perfect. And now for the part that we all care about, the bass. What I'm going to be showing you guys here is called the color bass. The color bass. Uh, what did it work? Um, I made a really sick Ableton rack that turns any ordinary bass into a melodic chord bass. Let me show you how it works first. With this technique, you can pretty much grab any preset you want and turn it into a color bass. Instant color bass. Okay, now here's how I made it. The main secret sauce is going to be a vocoder. With the option external, grabbing information from another source that's playing chords. In this case, I use a regular detuned saw. To do this, you make a separate track, name it something you can remember, just chords, I suppose, and then find it from the audio from. Now, whatever you play on these chords from any type of MIDI, it's gonna route that audio signal to the vocoder of the bass, mushing it together, giving it a chord. I like to keep the bands at 40. It does give a little more watery sound, but I kind of like that. I like to put the lowest range at its lowest, 20, so that even the sub can be affected. All these other parameters are not that essential. When it comes to the release, however, this is very useful. Watch how it sounds as I bring the release up and down. Keeping it at the middle range kind of stops it from sounding just like a chord and allows it to sound like a bass as well. Also, another tip, make sure you keep enhance on. It just does what it says, enhance. Enhance, enhance, enhance. freeze and enhance. Next up, you're gonna want to have an OTT. I use my bass essentials rack to bump it up and make it sound more full. You can find that in the description below as well. But in case you don't have it, I suggest just putting another OTT Bring up the output. And that sounds about good right there. When it comes to the detuned saw, it's incredibly simple. All you really need is a saw wave, a bunch of voices, halfway detuned, and that's it. Pretty easy, right? <laughs> it's almost like the simplest tricks are the most useful and coolest results. Okay, now let's make this a drop. I used this technique in a bunch of other basses and made different variations. I added a growl type bass in every downbeat. <coughs> I added two different arps filling up the background spectrum, keeping the melodic feeling going throughout. A deep mid bass playing the root note constantly. A moving rhythm sub playing the root note. Some offbeat chants to give it that energy. Now all we need is some sound effects. And voila, let's listen to this freaking masterpiece. This is 
really my first hand at it and it's honestly so enjoyable I can't wait to hear what you guys make of this if you want to go ahead and try this for yourself instantly I made a rack for you guys a really really dope rack called moon boys color base that wow. you guys can get on my website wow. for free by the way as a thank you for everybody that's supporting me on patreon buying my products everything I really appreciate you guys so much let me show you how this works so really all you do is drag it in and so this is what it sounds like by default already really dope but the trick is is to add your own presets to the serum that's in the section add your bass here so let's go ahead and grab one of my own presets oh my god do you hear that that's fucking so sick And so I made this rack specifically to make it super easy to even make chords. So let's go over these knobs. Release is it's pretty self-explanatory, uh, so decay time. Now here's what's really freaking sick, the key knob. And so now whatever key your song is in, you can play one note and it will play chords according to that key. So let's say we're on the key of D sharp. Or let's just go with the key of C, all right? When we want to play a chord progression, maybe, literally, we press the C note and we get the C chord. Bro, how sick is that? No matter what note you play, you're not going to be off key. That sounds like the purple Lamborghini yoink. Now we can add a ninth to the chords. So that's like a holy bass right there. <laughs> it sounds so holy and godlike. Now if we want to change the key to, let's say, F now. How useful is that? That's so cool. Looks like I gotta fix the spelling on the reverb. <laughs> really hope you guys enjoy this. If you guys want to download it, find it in the description below or on my Patreon. Thank you to everybody who supports me on Patreon. I love you guys so much. Please like and subscribe to show your support and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I said that already, but peace out. <laughs>